Hello, welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Siri. Today I going to show you how to make rice noodle in the gravy resort or Latna. We going to quick marinate our meat. I have the um, sliced chicken and I have the cow pork. First, we gonna quick marinate our meat. I have the sliced chicken. I use four out the sliced chicken. Gonna do just an easy marinade. Just put one tablespoon into the chicken and a little bit the cooking wine. Just a little bit. Okay, and I gonna just give this uh, our chicken the quick mix them. Yes, and we're gonna set it on the side. Okay, and I use three out the cow pork, and I gonna use the same uh, seasoning soy sauce. This one I might gonna put just like um, a little bit, not even one tablespoon. Cause I just only three out the meat and a little bit the uh, cooking wine. Okay, same thing. Gonna give this just a mix. Okay, I turn on the medium heat and I'm gonna add just a little bit the oil. Okay, just wait uh, about 30 seconds until your oil hot enough. Okay, and now our oil already hot enough. I will add our rice noodle. In. Okay, and as a back soy sauce, about one tablespoon back soy sauce to cover all your rice noodles. I only do six out for the rice noodle for one serving, and now you can see your noodle cover with all the back soy sauce and um, soft a little bit soft already. Now I'm gonna move our rice noodle to the plate. Okay, just move them into the serving plate. Okay, and for the same pan, I turn on the low heat and I'm gonna add uh, a little bit more oil. Okay, just a minute wait until your oil hot. Okay, and I'm gonna add our uh, garlic, chopped garlic. I use two cloves chopped garlic. Mm. Okay, mix the garlic well. And now our garlic start changing color, give you very good smell. I'm gonna add our soybean paste. This one is um, Thai soybean paste, so it come out a, a whole paste like this. I'm gonna add two tablespoons. Mm. Okay, give this a good mix. Okay, and now our soybean and garlic mix well together. Uh, we're gonna add our two cups of the chicken stock. Now I'm gonna turn up the heat. Mm. Uh, let our chicken stock uh, getting boiled. Now our chicken broth um, already boiled and really smell really good. Now we're gonna add the meat. Okay, we'll be mine it about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Now I will add uh, all the cow pork. Okay, and now I'm gonna try to separate the cow pork. I want the small pieces. And now I try to separate the cow pork. I want the small pieces. And next, I'm gonna add our chicken. Added all our chicken. I use for our the sliced chicken. I'm gonna allow the chicken and cow pork to cook just for about a minute. And the the chicken and cow pork cook very really fast inside the chicken stock. So now I'm gonna add our vegetable, but I will add the bottom part first. Today I use the carrot and the Chinese broccoli. And I will save the top part of the Chinese broccoli because they're super easy to cook. Just gonna add the bottom part. Now we're gonna start um, seasoning our chicken broth our gravy. So I'm gonna put the one tablespoon the oyster sauce. 
a little bit thick. Okay, one tablespoon oil salt go in. Okay, and uh, one tablespoon the seasoning soy sauce. One tablespoon seasoning soy sauce go in. Okay, and I will add the uh, one teaspoon sugar, just a regular white sugar. One teaspoon. Okay, and I will add uh, a little bit of white pepper. Okay, and now I'm gonna give them the good mix. Okay, and now I'm gonna give our chicken broth a um, quick taste. Mm, I will add a little bit more soy sauce. I didn't want to add a, a lot in the beginning because the soybean paste is already salty and also your meat have already marinated with the soy sauce. Okay, and next, I'm gonna add the all vegetable that I have left, the leaf, the Chinese broccoli leaf. Okay, because the leaf is cooked very, very fast. And now the last ingredient, I'm gonna add the cornstarch to um, give this a very thick and turn to be the gravy. I put the three teaspoon. I put three teaspoon cornstarch. Mix it with the water. Okay, and now we're gonna add them. Mm. Mix them and continue stir. Add them a little bit at a time and continue continue stir. Okay, and now um, your salt coming thick enough the way you like. We can. I gonna turn up the heat. That's it. That's all we done our gravy for the rice noodle. Okay, I'm gonna um, pour the I'm gonna pour the our gravy on top of the our rice noodle. Mm. Let me move them. Okay. Mm. You can put much that you like. Wow. Wow, that's it all now we're done and I gonna be ready to serve our rice noodle in the gravy sauce. That's it now all we done our rice noodle in the gravy sauce. Ah oh, they look so good, so looks so yummy and also easy to make. Now I ready to try this. Okay, and in Thailand, the rice noodle in the gravy very, very popular, and they also have the like to serving with the condiment sauce like a chili vinegar, and then the chili and sugar. But now I'm gonna add just a little bit of vinegar to put a little bit of sour. Okay, just a little bit, and I like spicy, so I'm gonna put a little bit of chili. Alright, and now mix it well together and I'm ready to dig it in. Mm. Okay, now I mix it all well together. I'm ready to try this. Okay. Mm. I want a little bit of everything. Wow, wow, wow. Mmm. 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 So good. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's really, very really good. The salt a little thick. The gravy salt a little thick, but not too thick. And also, um, the noodle a little chewy and vegetable. Everything mixed well together. Wow, they're really, really good. I can't wait to eat it all right now. And another recipe, easy and delicious. I hope you like this video. I hope you like this recipe. If you like video and recipe, please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you.